Hey, hey, and welcome to another Tech Tuesday. This is Chad from Ascension Worship. This week I'm going to teach you the age-old technique of ringing out your microphones. Hey, 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 what do you say? Yes, it's that time again. It's Tech Tuesday. So if you've done any live sound at all, you're probably familiar with um, a hot mic. And by that, I mean a microphone that is picking up a lot of things, like, say, a pastor's headset microphone. Um, and because it picks up so much, it can cause feedback easily. Uh, so what we're going to do today is, uh, is teach you how to ring out a microphone. Um, so I've got, hopefully you can see this in the camera, I've got a standard Shure SM58, and I'm in very close proximity to a studio monitor that's pointing right at the back of the mic. Um, so what we're going to do today is I'm going to get the microphone as loud as it can go without feedback, and then I'm going to EQ um, the feedback frequencies out. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to go to my channel EQ, of which I've got four bands of EQ to work with, and I'm going to slowly um, raise up the EQ and move it around until I find the frequencies that cause feedback. And as I go, I'm going to flatten it back out, and then I'm going to go to a 31 band EQ that's working in the background and take those uh, frequencies out of the mic um, so that I can get the microphone louder without running into feedback. So I'm very surgically cutting out the, uh, the problem frequencies doing this. Um, now, one thing that I'm going to do today to make sure that, uh, that your ears don't explode, and more importantly, my ears don't explode, is I will have a really uh, strong compressor uh, on the microphone so that as I get feedback, um, that will kind of keep it from getting out of control. This is a really good idea if you're doing this in a, uh, in a large sound system so that people still love you at the end of the day. Um, so let's get into it and see what we can do. All right, so we've got my microphone here, uh, and I'm going to, like I said, turn it up and see how loud I can get it uh, before we start getting feedback. Check. One, two. One, two. One, two. Hey, one, two. There we go. Starting to get a little bit of feedback. Okay. One, two. One, two. One, two. So I can get to about negative 10 on my fader before it's starting to... Uh, to sound a little bit unstable. So that's gonna be kind of our starting point. I'm gonna get us up to negative 10, maybe a little bit higher than that, and, um, and then kind of cause some feedback uh, intentionally uh, using my channel EQ, and then again, go to my 31 band EQ and take that out. So let's turn it up. One, one. There we go. All right, looking at my channel EQ, I'm going to turn that up. So looking at the EQ that I just did on here, I can see that that's about 138 hertz. So I'm going to go to my 31 band EQ and find whatever frequencies are closest to that that I can cut out. And again, I'm going to try and induce that feedback so I know exactly what I'm turning down and then turn those frequencies down. So here we go. Let's find 138. Here's 125. 160. So 125 is the closest, so I'm going to cut that down. All right, let's keep going. I hear some, uh, some high-end hiss. Let's try and find that. So there's one around 900. So 1K is real close. Let's take that out. You can also, uh, if you have an EQ like this, you can see on here it's giving us a, uh, a graphical representation of where some of the frequencies are. That's also very helpful. Um, so we can look on here as another alternative. So we have something around six, uh, 6K and 300 hertz to 8K, somewhere in there. So let's go over there.
Another thing I tend to do is if I cut a frequency, um, if it's really close to the next frequency down, I will get a little cut there. I find that just sounds more natural than just scooping out of nowhere. So if you kind of create like a little curve almost with what you're doing, that seems to sound pretty good. Scooping around, trying to find what's causing the feedback. We're looking pretty good. There's one, a little bit more at 150. A little more around 1K, somewhere in there. One K tends to be a problem a lot of times. I'm gonna turn the fader up some more, see how much more we can get out of this before we're done. There's one around 8K. Let's take a little more out of that. Here's a little something there around 4K. I'm slowly turning the mic up some more. It's around 360. A little something around 200. We're looking pretty good. Something around 570, 600, somewhere in there. A little something in the low 300s. Two K. See a little bit more around that two K out. Four K. Seven K. Twelve K.
And then just for good measure, this is for a vocal mic. Imagining this is for a, um, a pastor's headset, we probably would not need anything up to uh, 100 hertz. So let's just go ahead and just cut all that out just to keep it safe. So now we've gone from where we couldn't get a stable mic um, from, uh, from about negative 10. Uh, I now have the fader at zero and I'm not hearing any, uh, any resonance. So it's not until about uh, positive five that we're starting to hear it get unstable again. So uh, we just uh, freed ourselves up about 15 dB of extra gain. So um, let's just say a quick listen and hear how it sounds. One, two, one. Sorry, let me turn my compressor off. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. That sounds pretty good. So um, here is, uh, I'm going to turn, I'm not going to go all the way up because this is going to feed back, but I'm going to uh, now turn that, uh, com that EQ off so we can kind of hear what's happening. So here's with it on. Ooh. <laughs> Here's at negative five, on, off. One, two, one, two. And you can hear that it's about to feed back at any moment. Back on, one, two, one, two, and turn the fader up a bit, one, two. So you will notice there is a little bit of uh, loss of gain, which makes sense because we've been cutting out frequencies. Um, but uh, now that you've got this set the way you want, you can use your channel EQ, which if you look on here is effectively completely flat. Um, you can use your channel EQ to create the tone that you want for the person's voice. For example, um, if a, a female voice were to come up right now and you would add a little bit more bottom end into it to kind of fill it out, you can do that and use your, your channel EQ for tone because your 31 band EQ is doing all the, um, the noise reduction for feedback. Um, so just be careful that you don't overdo this and make things sound completely unnatural. Um, the best thing to do is to do like we did and, and sculpt everything away and then slowly, once you feel how loud you can actually get the mic, maybe put some of those frequencies back in if it sounds a little bit robotic and unnatural. Again, this is Chad from Ascension Worship. I hope this has been helpful for you and your team. Come back here every Tuesday for new information.